Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, we want to see how we can use Demoivre's theorem to find roots of complex numbers when they're written in trigonometric form. So usually what we have is some sort of complex number written in trigon trigonometric form like this, and we want to use Demoivre's theorem to go ahead and find the roots of it. Now, one thing I don't like about this is usually when you open up a math book and you try and look at the formula for this, they give you this complicated mess like this. So, you know, we have uh, what we're doing to the modulus out here. We're doing something crazy to the angle in here. And what's this all talking about? Well, I'm going to show you how you can use Demoivre's theorem uh, in three easy steps and still get the correct answer, okay? So let's go ahead and look at those quick tips on how we can actually use this formula. When using the Moivre's theorem, the very first thing we want to do is uh, take the root of the modulus. So that's the number that sits right out front of your complex number. So if we're doing something like a square root, then we'll take the square root of that number. If we're doing the third root of, you know, the, the complex number, then we'll take the third root of that number. Whatever it is, we will take that root. The next part is we'll look at the angle on the inside and we'll divide it by the index of the root. So again, whatever angle that is, if we're taking a square root, we'll divide things by 2. Taking a third root, we'll divide things by 3. Whatever it is, divide by the root. Lastly, we'll pick up all of the roots that we need by taking 360 and dividing it by the index of that root, and then continually adding it to the angle we got here. Okay? So once we get all of these three things, we'll be able to build all of the roots we need. Let's give it a try with an example problem. I want to find the fourth roots of 16 cosine of 60 degrees plus I sine of 60 degrees. Okay, so let's run down uh, my little steps here and do it one at a time. So the very first thing you want to do is let's find the fourth root of the modulus. So fourth root of 16. Okay, well that's not too bad. The answer to that is simply 2. All right, now what else do we need? I want to take the angle, whatever it is, and divide it by the index of the root. So our angle right now is 60, and the index of my root, since I'm finding the fourth root, is 4. So we'll take 60 divided by 4. Well, that's the same as 30 over 2, or 15 degrees. All right, one more thing we need to find is we need to take the entire 360 degrees for our circle and divide it by the index of the root. So 360 divided by 4. All right, so if you think of a circle chopped up into 4, you'll get 90 degrees. Now that you have each bit of information, watch how we put these together to build all of our roots. All right, so what is the first uh, of our roots? We'll have four of them in total. Well, the first one, we'll use the fourth root of the modulus cosine of this angle, 15 degrees, plus I sine of 15 degrees. Okay, and there's our first one. Now, since we're doing the fourth roots, we should have four in total. And using just this and this, you can get the first one. The reason why we found this third bit of information is that will tell us exactly how to get the rest. We simply add 90 degrees for every single one after that. So what do we do about the two? It actually stays the same for all the rest. So two, two, two. And now we're gonna go through and add 90 degrees for every other one. So 15 degrees plus 90 degrees, that'd be 105 degrees. 105 degrees, all right? Add another 90 degrees to that one. Now we're at 195. All right, keep going. Let's add another 90 degrees to 195. So we have 285 degrees. Now, if you accidentally forgot to stop even after you got four, uh, what you would end up doing is you'd get an angle that is coterminal with your 15, so it is essentially start repeating back over. But now that uh, we have all four of our fourth roots, uh, we can say that this one is done. So remember, find those three bits of information, like the index of the modulus, 
uh, divide your angle by the index of the root and divide 360 by the index of the root and then put it together carefully to build all of your roots. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.